Hey guys, it's George with Diamond Yard Sports Cards coming at you from my office with another video. I wanted to get this one in uh, before the time expired. This is for Mike, baseball collector and his 5,000 subscriber contest. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for everything you do for our community now in the past. Um, congratulations on 5,000 subscribers. I mean, that's quite an accomplishment when you consider our community is, you know, it's growing, it's growing, but it's also not uh, giant, um, at least in the YouTube sense. But uh, to have 5,000 subscribers is, is, is amazing. And then also uh, with Bench Clear Media. So my congratulations on that. Um, well deserved. Uh, would like to talk, I guess he wants us to talk about YouTube influences um, over the years. Uh, you know, I, I was in the hobby for a long time uh, when I was growing up, got out of the hobby around early 90s, late early 90s. Um, and you know, college, girls, just doing all kinds of stuff with jobs, uh, going out, working. Um, and then I uh, got back into the hobby in 2005 after my first son was born. I had carried this large chest of cards uh, trunk that I kept all my cards in from the time I was a kid. Uh, there was, you know, Don Mattingly's and Hank Aaron's and uh, Dwight Gooden's and stuff like that in there. Um, and I just carried that around with me uh, and eventually got the cards graded and began grading cards in like 05. But um, got back into the hobby around 05 with my oldest son, uh, Luke, being born. And so that was, uh, you know, something and I just kind of shared the hobby sporadically with people. Um, you know, didn't really go to many card shows, didn't know of many card shows. And there was just this need for uh, connection. Uh, and so, uh, you know, started with my friend Eric, we started going to shows and, and going to Long Beach. And by the time 2012 rolled around, um, but then I just uh, still needed more connection, wanted to share, you know, share what I knew about the hobby, wanted to learn more about the hobby, uh, learn more about vintage cards, learn more about pre-war, learn more about modern. And so uh, I got on YouTube around 2000, I want to say 16, and just couldn't believe the, the videos that were out there. And I saw Nate Tops 85401 here, and he had a video about how he wanted, he had his cards and, you know, people in his life that were close to him really weren't into card collecting. Um, and so that's why he reached out and started making YouTube videos uh, with Titanic Taters um, and Baseball Junkies TV and, uh, and his channel. Uh, and then I connected with Nate uh, and Snoop and uh, ended up being on a phone conversation with them. And then my wife had encouraged me to, to get involved. I uh, watched videos from Silver Jackify. I watched videos from Elite Co. 3, uh, Pepino Man, Eric Those Back Pages before he showed his face. Um, Joey brings it. Shout out to Joey and uh, all his great autographs and energy that he had. So I was watching these guys and Snoop and Mike U Baseball Collector. And uh, if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry, but then I was encouraged by my wife, Janie, to do this. And I did uh, after about, a, you know, probably six to 12 months of just being on me, like, well, why don't you do this too? And so I ended up uh, starting to make videos in, in September of 2017. Um, and then that just opened up this whole world of, of sports card friendship uh, that has come from it. Uh, and a world of learning, um, world of sharing, world of generosity that the community uh, just ingratiates you, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, I started interacting with some, some of the first guys I interacted with were Joey Brings It, Scott Scotty Tradition, um, Rated Rookie had made some comments, Enough Said Cards, uh, Card Tech 710, Dane. Uh, we started going back and forth and realized that we were of similar age and liked similar things. And he sent me an Andre the Giant card. He sent me a Ric Flair autograph. Um, I got, uh, won a contest, Base 1986, Jeremy. He sent me this great 86 top set, some rack packs with Barry Bonds in the front, and just shows the generosity of the community. Uh, there have been consistent commenters on, on my videos and a lot of videos in the community, Impact Player, um, always making comments. Jackie Chapman, always making comments. Jesse, Think Blue, um, 77, always making comments. Um, and then I had the privilege of meeting some YouTubers. So uh, over time, and, and that was, you know, at the Long Beach show, first with LA Collection, LaVon, Jeez Mikey was there, JR Specie, Hitman 3000. So met with the, those guys. Uh, Jake, uh, Legends Ever Die, came out to Phoenix. I can see Bank One Chase Field from my window here. Uh, he came out, we hung out here with his wife, Amy, when she was pregnant with their son. 
So, I mean, it's just an unbelievable world of friendship that YouTube has, uh, the sports card community that has, has brought me. Um, on live stream with Mike, baseball collector, uh, tried to get more involved in the community, and Mike helped me do that uh, through this different, different live uh, feeds, different um, golden ages of cardboard we did, Javi Palooza, did Javi Palooza with uh, Canadian Cards Mike, did Javi Palooza uh, with, with baseball collector Mike and Bart, PSA guy, back in 2020. Then in 21, get the privilege of doing it with Chuck, Northside guy, and Don, uh, Don's Field of Dream Cards. So, I mean, just awesomeness in the community. Um, and then, uh, you know, different live streams with James Elite Hunters uh, doing his Mount Rushmore with John Mangini on that one. And, and Don, and then, you know, doing another live stream with him and Vince, New York Yanks Fan 7. So all of these things have created just this awesome community that means a lot to me. Um, my son Gavin has kind of been involved in some of my videos. It means something to him too. Um, you know, seeing, seeing younger people get involved in the hobby is what we want. We want it to live on. We want it to grow. Um, you know, getting to, you know, interact with guys like Blue Jacket 66 who can just is delivering knowledge. I remember watching the first video I saw of his was a Tattoo Orbit set in like spring of, of 20. 2018, he posted this video with the Tattoo Orbit set, and I saw he's got a video with the 48 Leaf Jackie Robinson, and just the knowledge that's out there with him and and all the people in the community, rated rookie, enough said cards, um, you know, just all these guys. You you learn that there are certain guys to go to, certain guys share their knowledge in certain areas. Scotty Tradition with vintage football, um, Bill Hall of Fame collector with baseball. Uh, autographs, all kinds of autographs, all kinds of specialties, um, unopened wax. And there's all kinds of guys who you can go to in the community and more than happy to like help you. Um, I've interacted and made trades with people. Ken's Cardboard made a great trade with him and he and I have had a friendship and we've been going back and forth. With Don, he sent me this card stand of Jackie Robinson. Uh, his father, I guess, had passed soon before that, and he still managed to send all these card stands out to all these guys in the community, and that's huge. Um, so I'm on a text thread right now with uh, some guys, and you know who you are, uh, that are really cool guys and in the community, and we just go back and forth showing cards, making comments, and uh, it's just a cool thing to be a part of. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at the National, and that should be awesome. Um, so. I just, I feel like if, if I forgot anybody, <clears throat> Jay Stottlemyre, interacted with him when I was buying a 41 play ball Joe D, you're trying to find one, and he would gave me some helpful direction and advice. Um, so I, I just, there's so many guys out there and people out there in the community who are so helpful in so many ways. So um, I think that the friendship in the community is number one. Uh, it means a lot to me, the sharing in the community and sharing your knowledge because we all collect differently, but we all love to collect. And so, Mike, thank you so much for creating this contest. And uh, I'm very, very glad to respond. Sorry it took a while. And take care and keep collecting.